Okay, I'm going to start the presentation, the first maybe, what, sl uh, 10 slides or nine mm -hmm. slides, and then turn it over to Susan. And in addition to Susan and I being editors, uh, De Deborah Henderson is the program director of the DMBOC 2. She was for one, two. Also, uh, Eva Smith handles our uh, technology end um, that we are going to get into. So it's kind of exciting to evolve this framework, I mean this, uh, it, this DMBOC 2, and the framework that's coming out um, actually today or yesterday, uh, I'm not sure technically it's still, it's ri working right, so give it a chance if you don't, if it doesn't work right. But the framework has an outline for the uh, next version and we're asking for commentary. So um, let me just say that we're going to talk about the chron chronology of the DMBOC and then also the framework and then how to get involved. The, uh, for those of you that have been around a long time, and I was when we started this, <laughs> so I'm an oldie moldy. Um, you know, back in uh, the early days at Damus Chicago, um, you know, when I was president, I approached Damus Chicago because they wanted to put a guide together. And I said, let Damus International publish it. And that was the beginning, you know, the model for data resource management standards came out uh, in 88, 88, 94, and then it morphed to the guidelines for implementing data resource management, and then two versions of that kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Then um, about 2004, 2006 time frame, I don't know when, Deborah went to uh, Davis Chicago again and talked about putting together a body of knowledge, because they were thinking about updating their versions of the guidelines. And um, so we had volunteers step up. Uh, Mark Mosley stepped up to be editor. And I don't know, you came in later, I think. Anyways, um, Mark put out a framework back then. And if you remember it, uh, it kept going through versions and versions. But it wasn't open up to the DEMA public. It was a select group that would uh, review the document, which is okay. First time around, they didn't know what to expect. And um, that particular framework ended up um, being translated into a lot of languages, as you can see right up here. Ben Hugh over here had the Chinese version, right, translated. So um, we have a lot of colleagues around the world that are willing to do this work. The, um, First DMBOC came out in 2009, and the dictionary um, came out, I think that was first, wasn't it? The dictionary was first. First, first. okay. And then um, Mark put, well, what was happening was there were a need, was a need for defining terms. And so Mark spun off the, the dictionary. And then the DMBOC came together, took four years to publish from conception all the way out to publication, and now um, it is available in many different formats through our uh, colleagues, Steve Hoberman, who is here at this conference. He's our publisher. Translations are occurring, which you know about right now. Peter mentioned Japanese, the <coughs> Portuguese version's coming out in 2011, and I believe the Chinese version is still being worked on, isn't it, the translation? July. July. Excellent. Wow. So um, it's really, really great to see this. And to be honest with you, the penetration in companies has been fantastic. And if you go to some of the um, presentations at the conference, you will hear how companies are adopting the body of knowledge you know, in their companies to structure the data managed practice. And even when I interviewed at this um, upsta you know, upstate New York healthcare insurance company, you know, my goodness, they had the framework up. They knew about it. And I thought, oh, this is something. It's penetrated in, into a, a smaller, you know, a medium-sized company. And I thought, this is fantastic that, you know, we, we're getting traction all over the world. The new dictionary came out last year. Susan was the editor. She put a lot of uh, work into it. And uh, it greatly expanded. One of the reasons it did is because we looked at the CDMP exams and picked up terms from there. And I think there were other sources too, right? Oh, yeah. For the uh, expansion. But
but it's, it's quite a bit bigger. Um, and uh, that's, that's also been well received. And I'm going to turn it over to Susan. She's going to continue. And then later on, we'll look at the framework. OK, so um, what I usually do is uh, I will try and find out all the commentary. I've been doing a lot of um, presentations looking for commentary. I've been going to, um, I've been going to um, DAMA chapters and asking for commentary. I basically go over a chapter and say, OK, now what can we do better about this? What do we stop? What do we start? And what do we continue? And I want you to get your feedback now. This is audience participation time. Everybody get, wake up now. To, um, for, for the DIMBOK, what are the, the main things that you can see that would make the next version better? OK. Um, well, let's just get a list of the things, and then we can see if we covered them when we go to the framework. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, I think you had. Well, I was going to add a very quick one. Um, in other words, I wrote a whole lot of stuff on the data, the data modeling, and I sent it off to whoever was supposed to get it, and it never heard back. And I think, so what? Okay, so better communication with the authors? <laughs> to the authors, I would appreciate that, yes. Okay. It's going to be probably me, but we're going to, when we get to the author part of the show, we have to get the framework going. And then once we have the framework pretty solid, then we're going to start piecing it out to who gets to write what. Okay, let me see. You and then you. <laughs> it brings up a point. The review cycle, you know, I I got it the week of Christmas due back on Oh yeah, that It was right? a weird right. year. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's not going to happen again. That's not going to happen again. <laughs> I do data modeling. I wasn't happy with it either. <laughs> yes? I talked to Pat about this before. It's a great framework, but now we've got to go down to a little bit lower level. Some people seem to be really picking it up. We want to teach them what kinds of things, you know, what kind of processes to do to come out. Yeah, and, and, and Bob, you know, we, we had this discussion. We've had this discussion with the group. But the thing is, it's a guideline. It's supposed to be still at a higher level. And the attitude that's why all the, the bibliography is at the end to have, you know, to, to um, direct you to places where you can get more in-depth knowledge. But um, the, the DMBOC is the seed. We start putting in all the processes and all the, uh, you know, procedures and whatever. Um, well, I, don't, I don't mean at a real detailed level. I mean right. the training and all that stuff. Well, yeah, and that's the, we can put a bibliography at the end. Okay. Um, but it's going to be at your high level. I mean, a higher level, and it's a guideline. So how it's not going to be 
Right. For the purposes of what we're trying to do here, or in our we can talk about it. We're, there's, there's in the, if you see in a, you'll see in the framework that there is more detail in certain areas. It kind of levels it out because before it, the first version was inconsistently detailed in some ways, and so we want to try and get it down to the same level of detail across the board. Um, yes. Of? Uh, and that, that would incorporate all of this detail as kind of, kind of a, a handbook. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. And I know Eva suggested what? Um, splitting the, out the knowledge areas into individual books. Turning it into an encyclopedia with different, like, different you know, books. Topics that which, the whole thing together is like this tall. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, I don't think it'll be this version. No. no. Yeah. Maybe the, maybe <laughs> in the, the next future. One. <laughs> yeah, in the future. Yes. Right. 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 Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, ben. Yes. When we call this the body of knowledge, this knowledge is not converted mm -hmm. across even generations. So uh, I would like to see a framework which uh, is really capturing the most key points of uh, data and not just quotes. Uh, up to date, up to this okay. conference, people still ask me what is data, what is quotes. Okay. Okay, well. And, and then uh, the, the rest of it should be more dynamic as the new technology is there. Yeah. So yes. Pretty broad, uh, stable, and uh, unique and easy to not easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you and then. You're going to be happy too. Yeah? Right, and, and it, it is in the framework outline. Definitely you're going to have your yeah. chance. Um, and yes. Right. One of the things we did work on was a set of um, complete author instructions to give to all the authors that outlines right. exactly what we expect back. So that plus a template. 
And there's gonna, yeah, and then there's a template too that you just kind of fill in. So, so the formatting is there. It makes my life a little bit easier. Can you, um, uh, let me just talk about the author um, instructions because also besides the template and the instructions, we're expecting the authors to have, to follow the outline that's going to be solidified in the framework. And that was not done last time by many authors. They kind of went on their own way. Um, I, the reason I, you know, we, we did this was because I know as an author last time for the Dan Bach one, um, we really didn't have instructions. And so that's part of the reason that, you know, there's inconsistency and whatever. Now we're trying to, you know, put more process around it. And the other thing is, uh, you know, please let me know if you're interested in authoring a chapter or a section. We are, um, we have a, a committee that'll look and, and decide who, um, you know, which of the authors will select. Uh, we have some chapters that everybody wants to author. For example, data governance. And we have some that, you know, nobody wants to author. So, you know, um, and then how do we select and how do we be fair? So we, we've got those coming, those okay. issues coming up. Gordon and then those two and then we'll have to move on. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And footnotes. I'm good with footnotes. But this, the, it, the, the problem is the way it's put forth now, it's put forth as, the, as though it's the authority and everybody in this field agrees with what's written there. Well, well there's room, but that's the way it's been structured. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. my complaint. That's okay. Um, so there, there's a need to, um, if there are differences of opinion in the field, then we should highlight those differences. Say, here's one, here's the other viewpoint. Go to the sources okay. or the references. We did right. in some places. Like there's the Kimball Inman thing and that that's yeah, yeah. I, I put but, that in there. But don't don't forget too, this the Bach is only going to be as good as the people who write it and the people who respond and review comment. it and comment on it. Oh absolutely and but you will never get past if you don't have attribution and pointers to other things. Right. That is that is in our authoring instructions this time to have footnotes and um, definitely like I said, we were not given a really good set last time. Yeah, and so. I'm a firm believer if, if you don't tell them what you want, you're not going to get what you no. want. So yeah. we, we tell you what we want in the first well, place, what's much easier. More than that. I felt that it was don't do that. Oh, don't put your well, um, yeah, I uh, think I think we're going to encourage it, aren't yeah. we? I mean, oh, yeah. I, it's it's mentioned proper proper literary yeah. authoring. Yeah, it's All a, that good it's stuff. a different group this time. Yeah. And Rod has a, oh, I don't know, who was next? Those <laughs> two. <laughs> yes. You'll be happy to find out. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I, I, am, I am available for shows. <laughs> We, and, and I have to tell you, Glenn, in addition to the new knowledge area, and we're going to call them knowledge areas this time too, by the way, we have a new one called data integration and interoperability. And on top of that, we've got some input into that particular knowledge area. We are also developing uh, a CDMP exam in that area right now. And I'll have to tell you the reason why is because TDWI is pushing for it. And they started it. Through I, and then we found out through the ICCP, and we said, I mean, we're we're saying to ourselves, wait a minute, wait a minute, this is Dama's not domain. We, if we don't jump into it now, we're not going to have an influence on this exam. So you know, TDWI put together an outline for the exam. We looked at it and we said, uh, I don't think so. So um, it was um, good, but not good enough. I we thought. And so I put together an outline for that exam, and we're working on that. So that's going to come up as a beta um, exam this summer. But the thing is, that's what's happening in that that uh, particular knowledge area. So, okay, well, one more from Robin, then we're going to move on. Sure. Mm 
Maturity levels. We're we're gonna have. Yes. We're gonna, gonna be very that. happy. All right, let's move on. Yeah, move on. Sure. Um, go ahead. Do you want me to move? Um, sure. We don't have a clicky. Okay. So, yeah, we this do. is the these are the new wheels. The change on the left. We start with data architecture at the top. Of course, data governance is in the center. Oh, oh it's that button. Oh, yay. We. Okay. Cool toys. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've reordered a couple of the things. We've taken management out of the titles because it was kind of redundant. But basically, there's data architecture, data development. When I first looked at it, and I'm like, what the heck is that? So it's now data modeling and design. <laughs> Excellent! Yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. What? Data architecture is the how all of the moving parts fit together. And I think we're going to divide it up into an enterprise level and project level. Yes. Can I answer a question real quick? Sure. Data architectures deal with the principles upon which you do your design. They lay the formation, the basis for the design. Yeah. So this, this, the data architecture section will contain stuff like the, the data column of Zachman's framework, things like that. Data modeling will have all of the modeling stuff, how you design how the data lives within your ecosystem. Um, data storage is, used to be data operations. Now it's really just storage. There's database and file-based storage. All that's going to be in there. So some of the big data stuff's going to wind up in here. Um, data security, that's pretty much, that hasn't changed a whole lot. Um, data integration and oper uh, interoperability, all the pieces that used to be in the other sections are now here together. Documents and content, that's the, that was the document and content management, it includes records, um, paper-based data, things like that. How we manage the stuff that isn't electronically stored or is stored in um, things that have uh, uncommon structures like audio and video and things like that, content stuff for web. Um, reference and master data, that's pretty much the same thing. Um, data warehousing and business intelligence, metadata and data quality. So this is the, going to be the new wheel pending all of your commentary over the next few months. Mm -hmm. The other thing we did was we took the, in, the, the environmental elements and we added the, the <coughs> process, the people, and the technology to kind of uh, bring a grouping to it that's commonly used everywhere. So now you can say, okay, the people, that's really the organization, the roles and responsibility, process is the activities and the practices and techniques, and then the, there's the tools and then deliverables under technology because a lot of the things we deliver include tools and technology. So, um, and then the goals and principles is still in the center as the foundation of all of that. The knowledge areas? Um, yes, yes, and we'll get into the detail for each of those things. Yeah. So that's the new wheels, pending all of your commentary, and now I expect everybody that gets up at 7.30 in the morning is gonna go to the website and comment. Dama.org. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you can go to dama.org, we, we, we will have the draft up if it isn't already in PDF with line numbers so that yeah. everything can get commented and make my life hell by commenting the heck out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one that gets to pull all this together and turn it into a nice new draft that then everybody can use and then translate and yada yada yada. And it Oh, thanks. Oh, I agree. And <laughs> Yay! Well, we learned upon, we have lessons learned from the first time. Yes. And I mean, um, and it helps that Deborah was around the first time around. I was, I was around because I wrote two chapters and I knew what we were going through from the author perspective. So, and I knew what um, the book went through. And she knows what the book went through. 
So, you know, we, it helps. You know, we learned a lot. Now, did we learn, you know, absolutely everything to change? I, no, you never do. No, that's why do. we're putting this framework out for comment <clears throat> to make sure right. that we didn't miss anything or get something a little skewed. We need your help. We need your help. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yay. Um, within two, within two months, by the end of um, June, we're going to cut. The, yeah, we're going to cut off review end of by June. the end of June. End of June, and then the rest yeah. of my. Yeah. Uh, the framework itself, yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Well, if like I said, if you're interested in authoring, please let it, let me know or let, let Susan know. Yeah. Um, well, she's the one that's corralling all the authors. So. Yeah. And so hopefully putting more process around it. I'm corralling the text. She corrals the people. <laughs> I don't think so. You it, can comment. Definitely, well, yeah. But to be contributing. I don't, I don't think so. I mean, we're going to, one thing that's going to change from last time, and I insisted on, I know some other authors, was the fact that we're going to have attribution. If you wrote chapter nine at the end of the book, but you know, Dan Bach too, we're going to say so and so wrote chapter nine. Or contributed to. Or, or contributed whatever. to. Plus the reviewers. Now, you know, um, it, that means you have to go all the way through the whole life cycle. You know, if you're just going to write a paragraph or two, don't expect, necessarily expect your name at the end of the chapter, at, at the end of the book. So he's got a comment. Yes. And they're quite valuable because then you read the chapter, you see where you are, and you say, oh my Lord, yes. I could be doing better. Yes. Yes. And so those are going to be in the chapters. Okay. So let's uh, move on. Yeah. So the first knowledge area is data governance. So that's the planning, the oversight, and control over the data management and use. That's pretty much the same as it always has been. Data architecture, this is as an integral part of the enterprise architecture, all the moving parts, how they fit together. Data modeling and design was data development, so that's the analysis, design, and modeling. Yes? Yeah. Everything, modeling, physical, logical, the whole shebang. We w well, okay. At the project level? Which is different from the analysis and design. And uh huh. Okay. The All right. So, it might go under project architecture then. Yeah. Data architecture. Wait. We mean, yes, data architecture, but then the subsection would probably be so when, project when, level. So, I expect a comment from you when I you see it. This particular confusion. Uh huh. Right. We want to stop that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And and we're All right. like Excellent. I said, we're trying to divide it up into enterprise and the project level. What you do with each. Right. Right. Okay. Got you. Gosh. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to tag you too. <laughs> That's going to be covered under. Let's well, let's just go over the the over, and then you'll see the chapter structures, and then that th things will become clear. Okay, so um, there's data storage, data security, data integration, operability. Um, I basically talked to this already. Okay, so. Um, then the environmental elements, the same thing. Those haven't changed much. So the first big change that we're going to see in the new DIMBOK is this is the context diagram for a knowledge area. So what we're doing is um, making the, before it was like a little PowerPoint slide and there was limited real estate and everything had to be teeny weeny text. So we're going to use a different tool to put this together so that we can have more real estate and more organization around what we're doing, and, more, and it maps more directly back to the, um, 
the, um, the environmental elements, these things. So this is what we have, and we're going to keep this at a very high level. So we're going to try and not have 45 different things in any one box. And we're going to roll them up to, to a logical thing that's going to be consistent across the knowledge areas. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have, we have the definition at the top, which is going to be one or two sentences, that's it. And then there's going to be the goals, which we have in the original context diagrams. But then underneath here, we're putting all of these things into the process. We've got the inputs into the process, the deliverables out of the process, but things that affect the process are the government regulations and industry standards. We're going to pretty much mention them and then move on because they're all de um, described in detail, but you need to know they exist so that you can go find that greater detail somewhere else. We also have underneath the things that are coming in, so you've got your uh, ins, outs, rules, and tools, the typical... Um, IDEF. IDEF, yeah. IDEF, kind of. Right. And underneath here, we've got the tool sets, the techniques and best practices. We're going to be limited to just a couple of them, really widely known ones. And then the metrics. There's going to be metrics for every, every single one of these knowledge areas because I know that wasn't consistently done before. And everything can be measured in some way, so we need to show you how to do it. Um, I think we want to mention it as important for each of the areas where it does apply. Um, I'm not sure that I personally know where it should go, so I need your help to comment on this to make sure that it, it gets put in properly. Yes. Right, right. Right. No, but he wants a linkage. He yes. wants a linkage, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, um, I'm, I'm using this off in the context diagram to communicate and help him to see um, other IT people and our customers. And so the link in the wheel in the context diagram, in the, even in the current space, is way too busy. And I, I like the fact that you're breaking this out um, to make it a little less busy, but it's still too detailed. I'd almost like to see a layer um, in between Right. Thing. We want people to know who in our organization is responsible for each one of these things. And so I think it would be nice to actually carve off a spot to say, uh, allow us to customize or, or fill out a section when you're using this and distributing this in our organization. Because this, this still gets too detailed for that next level. Uh -huh. <coughs> okay. Uh. Mm-hmm. Under here? Because we've got these roles here to try yeah. and map to RACI. Right. So, yeah, if, if you have a suggestion on how to make, like, a skinny-down version of something like this, then, yeah, please send it in, because that we could, we could potentially do something like that if... Yes. Okay. So we need a middle level in between <laughs> this and that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's cool. Let's the principles are were in the text. Oh, the. Yeah, the goals and principles were here in the old context diagram. We took the principles out because those were also in the text and there were like two versions of them and it was confusing. 
So we figured we'd just put it in the text and be done. Okay, so maybe that would be the form of the in middle format of the middle context okay. diagram. Okay. All right, that's that's really good. Okay, so um, next is here's the chapter out. Here's the list of chapters, and we're gonna some of these chapters are gonna be big, and we're gonna piece them out into sections. So we've got your introduction. There's gonna be an entire chapter right at the front, how to use the Dimbach that's going to contain a bunch of the information about how to sell it, how to um, make it real for your organization. Yes? Yes. Chapter 15. Your, your chapter's in there. I mean, your section's in there, whatever. Yeah. Oh, OK. Chapter 15 has a lot of different uh, right, topics. So so we have how to use the DIMBOK, and then we have the overall process of data management, which is the very high level, this is what we're doing. Then each knowledge area gets a chapter, and then there's a, a chapter on data management supporting topics. The, the, the original DIMBOK has the ethics and section and certification, certification, and we've added a bunch more sections to that. Right. Uh -huh. and data design, which is again into modeling, but that's a restricted data design. And the word modeling shouldn't really be in the chapter. I think that's, that's part of what you put in. Okay. Because we're putting this out for comment, that means that things might change. <laughs> yes. Okay. So each chapter will have one or more sections intended to focus on a particular topic within the knowledge area. Before it was kind of everything in there was in there. Now we're going to make a little more organization down there. So for example, um, chapter 12 is the data warehousing and business intelligence. There's going to be a section specific for data warehousing and a section specific for business intelligence. We all know that, that people with this, have skills for the back office or skills for the front office and it's not just one big, you, you can do data warehousing which automatically means you do business intelligence too. That's mm -hmm. not right. So. Um, and each chapter will have a section at the end dedicated to discovering the governance of that knowledge area, specific to that knowledge area. So for chapter 12, that's reporting strategies, appropriate use of interpretation of data, architecture compliance training, and competency centers. Yeah. Um, I think so. Well, there's a section for data governance, and we can definitely discuss the difference. And then each each particular um, chapter will have a section on data governance and stewardship, and that we see is the glue between all the chapters, the integration and interoperability part but is the governance. Are you talking about in relationship to the center circle? Because I have the same problem. When, when I think of governance, it's as how do I get all of my directors and, and VPs mm -hmm. aligned from a governance perspective of the process and, and, and the resources? And then there's all of the data stewards, the bad guys. So there's two very different groups of individuals within the center circle, let alone mm -hmm. all of the governance activity and policy. Okay. Right. Right. Oh, you wouldn't believe how we've gone round and round and round <laughs> on, on that topic. Uh, circles round and round. Oh, I kill yeah. me. <laughs> um, uh, you know, the whole idea was to keep the logo because it's so well known in the industry right now. We can change the order of the slices, though, if it makes more sense to do that. If it makes that. more sense. Um, we can move it over to the other side of the wheel. We, we've, we acknowledge that metadata and data quality and data governance touch all the areas. Yeah, we thought about doing... Um, Big concentric circles, and we said, eh. Nah. But, uh, <laughs> and the and we made, it needs to be made clear that there's no intended priority. Or, 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 
There's a life cycle involved, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> it's it's a wheel, yeah. Um, how do you how do you best show all this? And so we decided to stay with the concept of our two symbols. But if you've got a better mousetrap, by all means, share it. All right. So. <laughs> Whichever one ends up last, we'll all have the same discussion. Right? Well. Okay. Yeah. So we will please comment, and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll talk. See we'll, about maybe rearranging. We'll revisit the wheel. it. We have a committee, and we're collaborative on this. So. Okay. So okay, for here, so chapter, this is all the um, supporting topics for data professionals, professional development, which we had before, business data requirement development, how to get good data requirements and deliverable verifications for those requirements, um, communicating data management value to the business, that's one of the things that came up earlier, um, data management cost control, so um, data management organizations, how some, um, what seem to be common patterns for how the org structures for data um, organizations. And then a section on facilitation for um, data management professionals to help do those conversations, have those conversations with non-data professionals. Another little, okay. Um, isn't that part of section two, though? Uh, that maybe. it would be? Well, we'll let's we'll go. We'll find out. So anyway, um, this is the where we can go. You can go to get the framework and check it out. Um, and here's all the different kinds of um, places that you can um, get to us directly and have conversations. Um, here's uh, the Pat's email address. Here's my email address that you can use. And um, now we can actually, if you want to bring up the uh, oh, sure. the actual thing. Okay, just give me a minute. If you can, they can get a taste of what it looks like. Yes. 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 Okay, here it is. It's in PDF, so I don't know if your remote will work. Um, I don't think how so. How do we want to start? Um. Well. Look at the long revision list for one. <laughs> <laughs> I've been work, I've been, and I, look when we started. I, in I started working on this back last November because I was like, okay, if we're yeah, because if we're gonna do this, we need to figure out how to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we need to revisions. start with the framework, otherwise we're sunk. So we have the history, we have the introduction, the goals. Um, a lot of the goals are the same, and then the um, proposed wheel and um, the knowledge areas, and um, again, the same kind of diagram you just saw, the knowledge area diagram, and um, the expansion of the, the second goals, um, the environmental elements, and then a book knowledge. We have a book uh, outline and we have a chapter outline, and this is where we get the process part. The, the book outline is what we just went through, um, and you can see the subsections that we put down there based on a lot of input that Susan's obtained, that you know, all of us obtained and we put out there. And this is what we want you to um, comment on um, by uh, line number, please. And, it'll, um, and so there's quite a bit to look at. Then what we're trying to do is the process for chapter structure and that is that we would have an executive summary and then the business drivers, the processes input, and then we would start going through inputs and outputs and technical drivers and people. So if we had uh, like an intermediate diagram that might be part of the executive summary bit. Uh, yeah, for each chapter perhaps. Yeah. Um, and, then, um, and then this would be uh, just an overall structure of the chapter, how it would look, um, just a conceptually. And then we would have a concordance between the editions. Uh, every, every box seems to do that. 
And um, then we have the next steps, which is, of course, you know, you're getting your input. So um, that's kind of it in a nutshell. This is the framework out there in DAMA.org. And, as you know, we welcome your input for the next two months. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then we won't that. welcome <laughs> it at all. <laughs> <laughs> they came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> About what? Yeah. And but um, after that comes the part, uh, and I'll give you a timetable. We're going to then, um, you know, assign authors and then get them up and rolling uh, in terms of writing. And then um, ideally, we hope to have a draft of the DMBOK 2 at the conference next year. I don't know when it is, April? Is yeah, the end of April. April in San Diego. And um, it'll be launched then, so we could say that will launch the commentary it. period. Right, the commentary period again, <laughs> again, and then we will have. Um, then we'll incorporate everything, and then maybe by the end of 2013, we'll have a new Dambach two, or if not, then 2014 early at the conference. At yeah. the conference, so that's roughly our timetable. Um, we've been working at it for quite a while. It, it becomes a second job. Um, to and, volunteers. And at some point you have to say, let it go, let people look at it. And, and that's what happened the last time, and that's why it's not perfect. Yeah. Um, and will it be perfect this time? No, nothing ever is. So. But it'll but be we're better. Gonna try, which we're going to try good. have a little more structure around it this time, and based on what we learned from the last time. So. so. I That's usually in, organiz in the organization section, the, the, um, <coughs> right. Um, that's, Right. So in 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 the in the yellow wheel, there's the organization section, and part of the chapter structure is we're actually going to have that um, more formal than just a list of questions and answers like in the first inbox, and that's where a discussion of outsourcing for each of the wheel sections would go. Okay. Canonical modeling. Yeah, I think we've got that listed under data modeling. Yeah. And design. Um, yeah, please go and I mean, in an hour we can't go over the whole thing, and I think we're out of time anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs>